So how can uh, Scrum Masters and Agile Coach keep uh, learning and keep growing uh, in their profession, in their job? Is there a, a tip or two you may offer? Yeah, I find that the thing that makes me successful is just, you know, keeping up with the industry trends. And frankly, go to a lot, go, whatever meetup groups. If you live in whatever area you live in, there's probably an Agile meetup group somewhere. I know when I lived in Richmond, we had Agile RVA and we would we meet once a month. That's a great group to join. And sometimes, excuse me, sometimes things are going to be a little repetitive, especially if you've been doing it for a long time. But other times you think to yourself, oh my gosh, I've been doing it for so long. I actually forgot that. I was, I appreciate the reminder. And so, because you just sort of move off and do another things and you go, yeah, sometimes I need to remember the core basic stuff that I knew 15 years ago, but I forgot. And so just kind of refreshing your, your memory, that's part of the deal. And then just, you know, reading blog articles and attending meetup groups and that sort of thing. And then, you know, if there's additional classes, like you want to, I mean, I started out in Scrum and I've learned how to do SAFE um, or maybe pursue some additional certifications if you want to do that. So, you know, if there's a lot of opportunities to go learn and get better. There's, you can take advanced Scrum Master classes. You can become a certified Scrum coach. There's lots of opportunities for you to to learn and grow. And I'm like, I'm not certified in everything. Um, honestly, I don't even have the time to do everything that requires certification. Some of it's hard and it takes a long time and, you know, you can't do it all, but um, but just sort of learning and, and growing from that perspective. And Or another way to do it is mentor. I find that mentoring is useful because um, working with people who have less experience always teaches me something too, because eventually they're going to ask me a question I don't know the answer to. And then I'll have to go look it up. In fact, I just did that with one of my colleagues last week. I asked a question, safe 6.0 just came out and there's something had changed. And I asked our safe practice lead and he said, um, he's like, that's an excellent question. He goes, I didn't know that changed. I need to go research it. I'll get back to you. So he and I both learned something from me asking a question that actually came from one of my students. So learning for all of us. Yeah. yeah. Being a Navy officer, you have been uh, an entrepreneur, you have, uh, you are a chef, you have a variety of different skills, different expertise. So yes. do we, does Scrum Master need to have a te deep technical knowledge in one area or that, do they need to have broad experience across different areas? I, this is going to sound like a strange answer, but I would find that the less I know, the better. And that's only because I think I'm effective as a Scrum Master, regardless of where I go. So I've worked at banks, I've worked at insurance companies, I've worked at um, companies that are building um, software for legal businesses. Uh, I've worked at companies that build software for locks, you know, uh, the internet of things kind of stuff on locks. I mean, everywhere I go, I don't need to know the technology at all. In fact, the last time I coded something was Fortran 77 when I was in college at USC. And I wasn't really even that good. And I knew at that point that computer science was not my major. I was a biomedical engineer and, you know, that led, led my career as a nuclear submarine officer. But um, so math and science, I'm good at software engineering, not so much. So my role in IT initially was systems analyst. So I can knock out some, some pretty darn good Visio diagrams. So I can figure out the logic and I can figure out how stuff needs to work. But as far as hands-on keyboard writing code, that's not my skill set. And so I realized that Scrum Master was a great role for me because I could stay connected to technology without actually having to know how to do any coding. And as I said, I can do it in pretty much every industry because it doesn't matter. The skill set for being a Scrum Master is independent of the actual work being developed. So hi, I'm John Mulligan, and I have been working in the Agile community since 2005 when I had the opportunity to get my certified Scrum Master certification working at Capital One. And then I worked for Capital One for a grand total of about 20 years and a variety of roles, Scrum Master, Product Owner, and uh, Agile Coach, and a little bit of Release Train Engineer. And then I was fortunate enough to get recruited by Anthem. They found me on LinkedIn because of some Agile certifications. I went to Anthem for four years and another variety of roles, Scrum Master and Release Train Engineer, and eventually Agile Coach. And then after being there for four years, I completed my SPC certification with Scaled Agile as well as my RTE certification and moved into consulting about a little over three years ago. How long has it been? Oh, about three years ago with Applied Frameworks. So now I work with a large variety of customers in a consulting role as well as teaching a lot of Scaled Agile classes. So um, pretty much balancing between teaching and consulting. And uh, the great thing about my current role is that I get to see a large variety of different industries and find that while there's many similarities, while there's many differences you would initially think, the similarities that people 
are trying to solve or the problems people are trying to solve are extremely similar and um and agile is just a great way to do it so that's my history feel free to anybody can reach out to me on linkedin um and i uh, i try to respond I, I review that often enough i suppose that i can respond to you there so yep